Hey guys, Alex from Waldron Guitars here. I've been pretty much working on this wannabe Stratocaster for ever now. Uh, pretty much rounding out the edges of the body so it doesn't look so ugly. Um, here, I'll show you guys in a second. Sorry about the table, it's a little bit of a mess and there's an ashtray right there. But uh, don't smoke, kids. Um, yeah, I've been rounding this out. If you look over here, it's just so squared and so ugly. It's been kind of coming along. I got all this pretty much done going down. Uh, I'm going to be doing the whole front and the whole back, which is just as ugly. So... When I'm done with this guitar, it won't even be recognizable. Okay, so the table is a mess right now, still. But as you look, it finished out, rounding out the edges. I'm not too worried about all the little indents I'm going to fill it in with some uh, wood filler. But that's the front side so far. That's all from body damage, all these indents, which I'm not too worried about it. Um, there's the high <laughs> that was carved in, but backside is still not done. As you can see, there is a big difference between that and that squared edge. Uh, as I continue to work on this guitar, uh, I am going to get some footage of me working on it and what I'm doing just to show you guys exactly what I'm doing um, it doesn't involve, involve a wood file alright so here I am with the wannabe Stratocaster and everything I've done to it so far I'm rounding out the edges making it nice um, Yesterday, I actually started working on the back a little bit. You can see the major difference in the body shape right there from this side over here compared to this side in the hump. So, but, uh, but yeah, um, I'm about to show you exactly how I'm doing this. And that way you can do it. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is this file. It's actually not a very aggressive file. But uh, what you're going to want to do is just start at the edge. I actually, I don't even know why I put that back on. I think I put it on there so I didn't lose it. But, uh, now I need this. That's going to have to be redone. Um, I'm using the rounded side of this to kind of break through the paint. I'll get this corner done for you. Uh, I'll get that on video for you guys. Um, but what I'm doing. It's pretty much filing. You can see that. The roundness. You can start. coming in flat if you want to but come in flat at an angle kind of like that that way when you get to the point you can always round it out that's what I've been doing um,
you see how it's starting to come through. This takes a long time, by the way. Um, just keep working at it. Um, and kind of, you know, it's going to take a while, so don't give up after a while, if you're doing something like this, uh, probably not the proper tool to be doing this with. Um, I mean, it is, but it, not the best quality of tool, you know? I've been trying, I've been basically getting it, probably, let's see how thick I have it on the other side. It's about an inch, maybe half inch, something like that. I've been eyeballing the whole time around, so um, some spots are higher deeper than the others. I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, uh, going to be filling in with some wood filler. Uh, it's just a cheap guitar, so I'm not too worried about it, you know. It's the Wanacaster. That, that's what I named this guitar, is the Wanacaster. It's a wannabe Stratocaster. that pretty much starting to be rounded out um you can kind of see where it's breaks in but uh, i gotta get it a little bit deeper and more at an angle so i gotta get the top some more so i'm rounding out the top not the side um I'm just cutting that an angle, you know, probably about mm, a few degrees, you know, 15, something like that. starting to look nice. Um, over here needs to be done a little bit. See where it's kind of dipped down right there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that uh, real quick so it matches. I'm hope I'm talking loud enough for you guys. Uh, yeah. It'd be a shame if it's just on uh, video, you know. Um, okay. Got that. Starting the slant down. Alright. I'm gonna work on rounding it. At this, so I'm just really 
like that, just to show you. So. And there you go. Um, see how it's rounded? I'll work on it better. Uh, just wanted to show you what I'm doing with it. Um, yeah, but uh, gotta get the bottom side just a little bit. It's kind of an art form, actually, uh, basic art form, you know. I'm still no carpenter, but yeah, um, and I'm just going flat there, kind of flatten the edge out, the angle, and I'm around it, and I should good actually there you go I just did that corner right there um the most time consuming part is uh this edge right here and you see right here, that's going to be the most time consuming part because you see how I got pretty close to uh, more rounded compared to sharp over here. Um, that right there alone is going to take me about an hour to do. So I'm going to cut this video off and I'll get back to you guys. Uh, I think with one more tip on working on this and uh, the final product uh, yeah I'll see you in a minute alright so what I'm doing with this is I'm taking the file flat side down at the angle and kind of using the tip of the file at an angle Flatten it down. You can see it's starting to change. Um, that's the other little tip. I do got one more for you uh, after that. Um, just take your time is I, well, one thing I gotta say too. But after that, I'm gonna show you how I got this edge so thin. And continue into a nice thick edge. Um, yeah, just take your time. Go by feel. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, well, I kind of lied. Um, about that. Um, I'm going to finish up this corner for you guys. Uh, on camera here, though. And get that onto the video for you guys and uh, post it up for you guys. I uh, grab the file here and pretty much just like last time, like I showed you earlier. I'm take the round side, come in at an angle. There's so much paint on this right now. Corner is kind of hard to do. Look at the corner, kind of symmetrical to the other side too. So I'm gonna be kind of eyeballing off this side as well. Um, I actually gotta fix this side a little bit.
Um, this paint's literally just chipping off on this corner. Following the edge, that's all I'm doing. Little tip if you uh, break the paint uh, beforehand, before you start actually uh, going at it, it'd be a lot easier when you start going at it. So. The paint, the paint's all all the way broken. Now we can do it just like last time. Coming at an angle. Just like that. Get it kind of flat. Now. Let's get this corner right here. Let's see what I'm doing. Yeah, that paint's just chipping, chipping away. It's still flat there, but it chipped off. kind of a four step pro process for each section you do get the paint flattened um, or five step actually you get the paint flattened or scratched off and you kind of flatten it out at an angle then you do the tops at a uh, lesser angle in the bottom at a uh, a lesser angle too and uh, then you round it out and that would be step five right there so finish getting this flattened though I just I can't believe somebody would make a guitar that's so fucking square like this, part of my language. But I can't believe it. Viewer discretion is advised in this video. <laughs> Now I'm working on the bottom. Ah. Okay, flipped around like that. There we go. Um, get the bottom. I keep smacking the table. <laughs> I honestly think it looks better if you get a little more angle or a little more 
A little bit of a longer uh, quest in it. You know? There we go, there we go, okay. Get the top. My bad. Get the top. Um. I kind of didn't do the bottom section right here though yet. I'm kind of working on the corner, kind of matching it out. That way I don't have to like really flip it uh, from too many different angles, you know? Alright, so the video just cut off right there. Uh, I ran out of space, um, sadly, but I did end up finishing this. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty nice all the way around. If you can see that. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, there will be more videos with this guitar being worked on. It's just a little project guitar for a kid, you know? So, um, um, yeah, uh, the next video I plan on sanding the whole finish off and filling in with wood filler, so please subscribe if you want to see that happen. Uh, peace out.